Let's do a Bible study of Deuteronomy chapter 24. This chapter dives into the nitty-gritty of everyday situations, offering legal guidance for a just society. It addresses marriage, divorce, slavery, poverty, and even how to treat your neighbor. These laws, while seemingly specific, reveal timeless principles of justice, compassion, and fairness. The chapter reflects a deep concern for the vulnerable and emphasizes the importance of social responsibility. It's about creating a society where everyone has a chance to thrive, not just the powerful or wealthy. So what exactly do these ancient laws say? What wisdom do they hold for us today? Let's unpack a few, shall we? These laws, though ancient, offer a glimpse into the values and societal norms of the time. Divorce, always a tricky subject, is addressed with a degree of sensitivity. The law acknowledges the complexities of human relationships. A man could divorce his wife, but only for something indecent, the interpretation of which is debated. This shows an attempt to balance personal freedom with moral responsibility. However, if he remarried and later divorced again, he couldn't return to his first wife. This rule aimed to prevent the exploitation of women and ensure stability in relationships. Another interesting law concerns pledges. It reflects the community's approach to fairness and empathy. If someone takes a cloak as a pledge for a loan, they must return it by nightfall, ensuring the borrower has something to sleep in. This law underscores the importance of human dignity. This law highlights the importance of compassion and recognizing the basic dignity of every person, even those in debt. It reminds us that even in financial transactions, humanity should prevail. These rules, though ancient, still resonate today, reminding us of the timeless values of justice, compassion and respect for one another. Now you might be thinking, divorce, pledges, what's that got to do with me? Well, hold on a minute. While the specifics might seem archaic, the principles underpinning them are surprisingly relevant. Take divorce, for example. While the rules might differ today, the underlying concern for fairness and compassion still resonates. We still grapple with the complexities of dissolving a marriage, the emotional and financial implications, and the need to protect the vulnerable, especially children. The law about returning a cloak at nightfall speaks volumes about social responsibility. Imagine being so poor that your only cloak is taken as collateral. This law ensured that even in debt, a person's basic dignity was upheld. Think of modern day equivalents. Laws against predatory lending practices, regulations to prevent homelessness, or even food banks providing for those who can't afford basic necessities. The spirit of Deuteronomy 24 lives on in these efforts to protect the vulnerable and ensure a safety net for those in need. Let's talk about the principles of fairness and justice that were integral to ancient business practices. Another set of laws addresses business dealings, ensuring that everyone, regardless of their social status, was treated with respect and fairness. Farmers were not to harvest their fields completely, leaving some grain for the poor and foreigners. This practice ensured that even the most vulnerable members of society had access to food, Similarly, when beating olives from a tree, they couldn't go over the branches a second time, allowing the poor to glean what remained. This was a way to provide for those in need without compromising the farmer's livelihood. These laws might seem quaint in our modern world of supermarkets and online shopping, but they highlight a timeless principle. However, the underlying principle of fairness in business still holds true. The idea that business should be conducted with integrity and consideration for others is as relevant today as it was back then. Think of fair trade practices, ethical sourcing of products, or even just tipping your barista. These modern practices echo the ancient laws, emphasizing the importance of fairness and justice in all business dealings. It's about recognizing that everyone deserves fair compensation for their labor and that we have a responsibility to ensure no one is exploited in the pursuit of profit. By adhering to these principles, we can create a more just and equitable society for all. So there you have it. Deuteronomy 24 might seem like a dusty old scroll at first glance, but upon closer inspection, it reveals timeless principles of justice, compassion and fairness. These laws, while rooted in a specific time and place, speak to universal human experiences and aspirations. 
As we navigate the complexities of modern life, these ancient principles offer guidance and inspiration. They remind us that a just society is built on empathy, fairness, and a commitment to protecting the vulnerable. And that's something worth pondering, wouldn't you say? Are you ready for the next chapter? Just click here to go straight to it.